Okay, today we're going to show you how to set the tappets on a typical four-stroke radio control engine. So we're starting off with it in a very loose position and uh, we've got a 0.1 of a millimeter or a fourth hour feeler gauge using a small ring spanner and a screwdriver. If you've got an OS engine it will be a spanner and a allen key. Slide the uh, feeler gauge under. We've got the engine mounted in a stand. Now the stand, this stand would not be big enough to run this engine but is eminently suitable for just holding it in place whilst we set the tappets. So we want to have the feeler gauge so that it will slide in but with a certain amount of traction if you like whilst it's under there. We take the screwdriver and adjust the tappet adjusting screw to the right position and using the ring spanner and the screwdriver in tandem we just lock it back to lock the nut against the screw so that it's unable to adjust by itself. The, it's important to make sure that you start the process with the engine at top dead center where both valves would be in the closed position. And then we've just turned it over and now we're checking. And as you can see, it's a little bit tight there. So we're just going to repeat the process, slacking it, slacking it off ever so slightly. Because uh, it's just a bit too tight there. So just obviously slacking off the lock nut, adjust with the screw lock the nut back against the screw as so and then just turn it over again to make sure that it's working properly check it one last time and there we are we're done and finally just putting the rocker cover back on, make sure you get the rocker cover the right way round because the high bit needs to be at the front in order for the screws to clear uh, without damaging the rocker cover. So that's how you set the tappets on a four stroke engine.